people with the man of the Lord. That's one way. Another way is, um, I mean, well, how can I say that, man? What she said, what she had? How she wants to know how she can get to the kingdom of heaven. Listen, the kingdom of heaven is going to be established here on earth. Yeah. After this person, after the, after the power of the man who's controlling Here, I'll earth, show you how to do it. After the world is fallen, after this man who's controlling the world right now, there's an actual nation of people that's controlling the world right now. After their power is broken. Yeah. See, that's what you see going on in the world right now. They're losing their grip of power. That's why you see the men of the... Man, how, what, Are you what, going to heaven? I'm hoping to make it to the kingdom of heaven. Eventually, I'm an Israelite. I'm going to be in the, in the, in the kingdom of heaven. How if I don't... If I don't how can you have a No one does. Not even a prophet of course no one can say. We don't even know. We just do strong faith and that's that's a uh, that's a law. That faith. That has strong faith. It's that faith if you're gonna get delivered from this destruction. There's a destruction of fire coming. You know, that destruction of fire, we don't have it. I don't we used to have a nuclear missile site, but that's the Bible the Bible speaks of fire. That's second death. That's coming from thermonuclear missiles from all those other nations. See, America's been doing dirt. To, the terrorists has been doing this dirt. They've been for spying years. on everybody. You heard for years, okay, so and now they're going to pay for it. What about back to like knowing like how to get to heaven? You don't. You I got can't you. Know. Right. I got but it right you here. You can only have faith. Do you have something? Yeah, I do. You can only this have is, faith. Watch. It's right here. I got you. Watch. <laughs> Romans. This is how you get saved. Okay. Romans, ten and thirteen. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. What's the name of the Lord? Jesus. Nope. Is your name Beth? What? Is your name Beth? No. Mary? No. Okay, I'm going to call you one of them names. Say it, Susie? No. I'm, I'm calling you Susie. What's okay. your name? Okay. My Susie. Name Susie. Okay, what? That's not your name. You still responding? So Jesus is not the Lord. You crazy? Name. You on medication? <laughs> Wait, I'm having fun with you. I'm just having okay, fun with you. He's, like, he's letting you know that Jesus is not the Lord's name. That's so, a that's a, a bastardization of the Greek name. Right. He's Jesus, not Greek. It, that's a Greek name. But that's not the what. That's not the way you say his name in ancient Hebrew. Right. Well, that's not so how you, you say it. Well, it that matters, does matter because they just said right here. Because if you're walking here. down the street and I'm, I'm hollering at you, you're not. You don't hear your name being called, right? Exactly. But you're walking someone else. But you're walking down. If someone's calling someone else's name, but you're going to respond? See, that's the same thing with the Lord. When you call him Jesus, Lord Jesus, I want, that pork chop sandwich you gave me was so delicious <laughs> that I pray that you give me another one tomorrow. Y'all don't eat pork, He's not you? hearing you. Yeah. You eat pork? Yeah. I know you do. Yeah, that's a thing you put in your body, right? You're not even supposed to eat pork. That's a law not to be old. Anyway, let's get back to the name. Let's you know, get back to the name. So you know the Ten Commandments is in the Old Testament, right? Do you keep the Ten Commandments or is that the Old Testament? Yeah, okay. It's like, I'm not bound by the law because I have the law. It's the same It's just stupid. Hey, give out Romans 3 and 30. All I know is that God was a man and that man had a name. I don't care what the name was. Well, you should care. That's, just, that's how you... Well, what was his that's name? The, that's a beautiful scripture. I don't hear you telling me what his name was. Get there. Okay. But listen. I'm pretty sure. What? When we read the scripture said Jesus is a Greek name. It said whoever calls on the Why name of the matter? Lord shall be saved. Jesus is Greek. It doesn't matter what the name is. Where's that in the scripture? It doesn't matter because you're saying it. Doesn't matter because you're saying it. Well, I'm saying what matters is that he literally died on a cross. A human. 100 percent human and 100 percent. God, God. Yeah, he's got a Hebrew That's not man. an opinion. You're right. You're right. You're right. That is factual history. That's 100% fact. And I think that God doesn't really care. He's so not caring what language big. we're talking in. He hears everything. He hears everything. Well, of course, but check this out. If the Lord loves you, if the Lord really loves you, and if you're one of his elect, guess what? He's going to reveal his name to you. Okay? Because that's a gift. Look at that. Uh, what you got, proper? But what if you're like, you, or I don't, there's a lot of reasons why whatever language you speak doesn't really matter. Like, you can still know Jesus and know his love without you know, speaking it, a specific language. You know why it really does matter? First of all, if you want to be a real Bible scholar, because you got to really study. 2 Timothy 2 and 15 says to study to show thyself approved unto God. So, if you're going to call yourself a man of the Lord or a woman of the Lord, such a thing, I don't know. Well, you, you have to study, okay? And, and the Bible was originally written in uh, Hebrew and Greek. Yeah. So to get a full understanding of the scriptures, you have to study Hebrew and you have to study Greek. You have to because that is what the Bible was written in. Because the English Bible is really not a real Bible. It's good 
for the common man so he can read the scriptures, okay? Yeah. But if you're really going to be a, get deep into the truth, you have to study Hebrew. Yeah, but you, you know, right, 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 right. Here you go right here. Okay. That this is Proverbs. Really answer the point. Well, he, like, this will answer it. Does it matter that there was a man who died who said he was God? No, I he's think, not God. I think that's what is the most important thing that you guys... Well, read that scripture because it talks about the so, Son of God. We have to go Proverbs 18 and Oh, hold on. Let me get one more scripture for you. Okay. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. Yeah, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And actually, when you look that up in Hebrew, it doesn't say Lord. Every time in the Bible, when you see Lord in all capital letters, in Hebrew, it doesn't say Lord. It says the Most High's name. Okay? No, it's, it's not Yahweh, it's Yahweh. He didn't die for all people. He just read your scripture. He, just, he died for the nation of Israel. To know the Father is to know the Son. Yeah, but you gotta know the Son thing. before you know the Father. You yeah. can't get. You but can't, you can't just go to the know. Father. And you can know for sure that you're going to heaven. So uh, I pray that you guys would have assurance. You can't know for sure. You don't know for yeah, sure. Okay. You, you know that's not possible. I, okay. Where's that in the Bible, though? Give me the scripture. Give me I, one scripture. I'm not gonna spit out scripture. She's a, to see, you, see, that's not you what I'm about. You can't just you just can't come out she, talking. Are you a prophetess? That's not a word. But, you know, yes, it is a word. I'm a prophet. A prophetess? That is a word. That's a female prophet. Okay. No, it's not a word, yes, it is a word. Look it up. It's in the dictionary. I'm not about like so, so, legalistic so, 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 or whatever stuff. Well, I'm just saying like I think you guys aren't healthy. Campus, but like, yeah, I told you, I told you okay, the truth cool, is man. something that you don't, I mean, most of the people don't accept. Because okay. it's not I mean, what you want to hear. But you're not helping though. It's not what you want to hear. You're not helping because you're not, you're not, you're not doing what we're supposed to be doing because you're out of order. Okay? Out of order? You're out of order. According to the Bible. Right now, according yeah. According to the Bible. Okay. Your hair's not covered. Okay. You're, you're walking up and down the street. You're walking up and down the street willingly. With my uh, like, 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 just cool. You, you, you claim to be married. You're talking to us. You're you talking to another on, man. You got jeans on. No man. You okay, well, Jesus. Jesus not bound to a lot. The Old Testament. So, is, who tells you that? Okay, let me ask you a question. Is it okay if we ain't gotta follow the law? Is it okay to have sex with your mother and brother and sister? It's not okay. okay. Why is that? The law says it's not okay. So I mean, you're saying that we do true. have to keep the law. Yeah. Okay, well, I will admit that I'm not oh, like a I won't expert get the scripture. on the law, but I think there's a lot of <laughs> this things is, uh, that God... This is, Luke, this is Luke 24 and 44. Okay. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spoke. This is the New Testament too. Luke 24 44 and he said unto them these are the words which I spoke unto you while I was yet with you that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses this was written in the law and the prophets and in the Psalms yeah. concerning so me. prophecies that are fulfilled so the law is for not. example Jesus said, is so everything. Fulfilled. check this out having your hair covered is not a prophecy that's all and right. Paul, one more, one more, one more, Paul and he said and the law is written in Moses no, Paul said in the New Testament, the book of Corinthians, in the book of Corinthians, that you got to keep your head covered. That was Paul that said that. Yeah, well, that's, that's in the New Testament. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endures forever. The law endures forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. You want to know why you, how you get saved? All they that keep it shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. Yep. Like you know that pork. You, so what is the law? What's the law? The law. Let's say everything's written in this book. You got to cover your head up. You no got to wear pork. things that pertain to a woman. Dress. Just keep this. I mean, savage. I don't understand why you women don't like wearing dresses. When that's a woman is beautiful wearing a dress. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Instead of just walking around half naked. It's where attractive. I can, where I can see your whole body. Right. You don't. I mean, you guys don't give it away. A man. We don't even have imaginations no more. That's why these guys got to use Viagra. And, <laughs> you know they what I'm did saying? All kind of I'm just keeping it real. Stuff. I'm just keeping it real. I just don't think that that's what God actually desires, and that's not in the what, Bible. What? What? Like, you saying He don't desire? He, he what? doesn't. That like, you would be a woman. For us to live, like, by the Watch this. Okay. So if I'm walking like, around with a dress on, how you gonna look at me? Oh, you oh, see, man. you're not right. Now. Look, Romans. Watch this. You're not right. What, what's your nationality? No, Where are your people come from? Here. You're German. Yeah. So you don't agree with nothing about the Bible? I agree with everything. 
I look, I, why you saying, just, so, so why you saying the stuff you're saying out your mouth is like worldly? Like, it's not worldly. It is it's let me ask you a question. Like you keep saying what I think about you. Let me read the scripture, bro. Think, it don't matter what your opinion is. It's about what's in the scripture. Know, the, the, the scripture. The so you keep saying that. Thing. Well, listen, I think Jesus. He said we don't have to. I think, hold on, bro. We're giving you scripture how he is, but you keep saying I think this and I think that. Look, this is a scripture right here. You can't take little parts out of context and like, act like that. No, these everything. are plain. Hold up. Let me get a scripture. Right to the reading the scripture. Look, yeah, Romans. Context, let me get a scripture. Like, ahead, bro, Romans three and thirty one. Okay, you said we don't have to keep the law, right? Yes. Now I'm gonna read out of the New Testament. This is what Paul no, said. No, we do have to keep the law. I'm just saying. That okay, now listen. There's, 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 like the law. Just pick and choose, right? Every, like, just pick and choose thing. what you want. It said, "Do." This is Romans three and thirty-one. Do we then void the law through faith? Okay. Do we void the law through faith? God forbid. Yes, we establish the law. Establish the law. First Corinthians eleven and five. First Corinthians eleven and five. Hold up. Hold up. For every woman that stands Yeah, other words, she would have shut the hell up. She yeah, didn't look good to me. I would have smashed that little one up, boy. That little one was alright. Right, they probably both are lesbians. Yeah. You oh, see that? Listen, see, we sit in here and debate these perfect white teeth. We sit here and debate a woman because it's so. Enjoying her kingdom. It's just edification for the camera. Yeah, because they make us look good, you know what I mean? Right, right. When somebody comes out here talking that bullshit, because they, they don't. I, when someone they don't know the Bible, she obviously knew nothing about the Bible, obviously. Oh, damn, but man. she was still an expert. Nothing. But that's why she made us look good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. Because she's so retarded. <laughs> she's talking about taking shot out of context. Like she knew what the scripture meant. Tell if somebody true. say you taking out of context, then you must know. Mm -hmm. That's right. Told us to change our doctrine, change the truth. I mean, we'll change it if you give us proof. She said we're not good for this campus. We're not out here to be good for the campus. We out here to bring this up. Yeah, we out here to be a thorn in their side. <laughs> we out here to get under their skin. To piss people off. Right, right. Here you go, here you go. This, these women, boy. Isaiah 30 and um, 9. This is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Yeah, they just didn't want to hear the law of the Lord. Yeah. yeah it, after she started, after a minute, she started saying, well, actually, we do have to keep the law. Yeah. <laughs> Lost and confused. Yeah. Double-minded like a mom. Double-minded. <laughs> that's why, man, that's why you men, man, you let these women rule over you. Dumbass. You, you faggot it. These women, you can't have a woman in control of anything, man. <laughs> well, you see how stupid they are. <laughs> hey, hey, a woman doesn't operate on facts. Hell, yeah, yeah. yeah, no. Here we are reading the Bible and uh, she got a problem with every last scripture. Everything we came out with, man. Yeah, she, out here to teach that love shit, man. Talking about she's talking about she's sure that she's gonna make it to heaven. What's her name? Holly? She looked like a Holly. That was her name? Yeah. Here you go, um We say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Oh yeah, because she got mad because he was he wasn't even yelling. He said he was yelling at her. Yeah, right, he was just yeah. talking in a normal voice. <laughs> we're not. Yeah, she's like, why are you yelling at me? <laughs> I'm like, fuck. I'm like, you like her husband must be a real faggot. You know what I mean? See, all these men out here talk like little bitches. They got little squeaky voices. All these all these men, they talk with if they talk like women. They sound like women when they talk. You know what I'm saying? They got all these men got the spirit of a woman on them. Oh, a bunch of faggots, man. Everywhere you look's a goddamn faggot. Everywhere. <laughs> Prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Like if we's a bunch of faggot ass Christians out here talking, oh, yeah. God loves you so much. He's gonna He's gonna bless you today, <laughs> man. We we. We'd make so much money. We'd have so many friends. We get so much pussy. You know what I mean? Hugging bitches all day. And we'd be fucking hugging them bitches, fucking them bitches. All day long. Man, man, we'd have everybody in the palm of our hands, bro. It'd be so easy. I like it much better to piss them off. Yeah, I mean, just to tell them because you can't the truth. You can't live like that, man. Yeah. You got, you got to tell the people the truth. Right. Whether they like it or not, man, they can't stand this truth. I told her before we even started talking to her that. The prophets were hated by the most of the people, man. 
because of the truth. I'll get that scripture. Out, I'll know? get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to explain to him, you know, hey, yeah. prophets were hated. You know, the prophets out here in the streets now we're yeah, pushing yeah. the truth out. Right. Most of the people, you don't see nobody in front of us, man. Like, yeah. They yeah. reject this, man. That's why it's doing it. They're trying to go into the series. Dealing with the wicked man, so we want to go. Dealing with the wicked man. Because they hard headed. You mm -hmm. don't want to deal with these fucking people. <laughs> it's actually right. kind of fun though. Right. I like rejection, that. rejection, rejection. He thought they was going to try to kill him too. They can't stay in this body. Well, they actually they weren't going to try to kill him. It was actual Israel that was killing the prophets. Right? Yeah, I got it. If I, if I can freaking find it. That's Israel's wicked asses, man. I don't want to go teach these wicked motherfuckers. Israel follow your ass around the corner and fucking kick your ass out. This motherfucker, these people are so fucking stupid. You can read a plan. I got a scripture on how Israel treated the prophets. Hey, this is scripture too was in uh, oh, shit. It, it, there's one in was it John or Matthew? One of the gospels where it said that they killed the prophets all the day long. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. Where is that? Matthew tw 23. Uh -huh. Matthew 23. So Matthew 23. Is that Matthew 23? Yep. Let me read this real quick. Uh, this is talking about Israel killing the prophets. Hebrews uh, 11 and 36 and others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings. Yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. Like, yeah, like we said, John the Revelator, he was in prison when he wrote the book of Revelation. All of a way before that, Jeremiah got locked up in prison by an Israelite. You know what I mean? The king locked him up. Then they killed Isaiah. They said they chopped Isaiah's head off. You see what they did to the apostles? Then they stoned Paul. Paul was out there teaching. They stoned his ass to death and he came back to life. You see what they did to Stephen? Stephen was out there uh, going hard in the spirit. They stoned his ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can read that about uh, read about that in Acts seven. <laughs> Said in others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings. Yea, moreover, bonds of imprisonment. They were stoned. They were sawn asunder. Were tempted. Were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. Mm. Yeah, so people talk shit like, y'all wearing them funny ass clothes. Well, the this, this scriptures say the prophets walked around in sheepskins and goatskins, looking, they was destitute. Man, they were man. tormented, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, when you were mourning, what, you supposed to have a three-piece suit on in the yeah, morning? Yeah, you gonna come out here with yeah, your... Yeah. It, it ain't valid if you ain't have a three-piece suit on. You're in mourning, you're not about to get fresh. But you gotta be part of the world to afford one of those suits. You know what I mean? You gotta... You gotta have money to buy a Versace suit or whatever they wear. Because I was into that when I was in the world. I, just, man, I was a suit man. I was flying. I was flying all the time, man. You ain't never gonna watch, see cats. We dead in a suit. To me, wearing a suit means you're a goddamn faggot, man. If you wear a suit, that means you a faggot and you a bitch. And you a sellout punk, man. You're gonna dress up in a goddamn monkey suit. Look, you just look like a goddamn servant. You know what I mean? You wanna be like the wall Chimes. That, you, gonna, you ain't you never gonna catch me wearing no shit like that, man. What's wrong with that, man? I wanna look good, man. Just like every time motherfuckers go to court or something, they wearing their Sunday's best. They oh Sunday's best. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Dressing up looking like a goddamn faggot, man. <coughs> Trying to impress that motherfucker that's about to lock his ass up. You'd never catch me dead. Oh, you you can't pay me to wear a suit and tie. Actually, you might be able to pay me. You gotta be enough money, shit. I won't wear a tie, though. Oh, hell no. I'll put a suit because I have no tie. The only way I ever wear that shit, they maybe. God damn. Yeah, because you gotta get a job and you gotta wear some funny looking shit while you're working. You gotta get a job, you gotta wear some kind of satanic symbol on your clothes. Check this out. This is Matthew 23 and 2034. Wherefore, behold, I send you unto, unto you prophets and wise men and scribes. And some of them ye shall kill and crucify. Yeah, we wise men and scribes and prophets, you know what I mean? They want to kill us. Everybody got a problem with us. 
And if we got out here and lied and said everything's going to be okay and God loves you, going to bless you, and God's not going to bless everybody. That's a lie. Is that he's clearly not going to bless everybody because clearly half y'all going to drop dead for some disease. You're going to get fucked up. You're going to get shot. You know what I mean? Uh, your, your wife's going to leave you. Man, I thought the Lord loved everybody. Your little children going to get ran over by a pickup truck. So <laughs> y'all ain't all going to get blessed. You that's, know? that's a lie. You know? The, the Lord got terror, death, and destruction coming for y'all. Mm. He, he ain't blessing you motherfuckers, man. Bless you with a missile. Yep. Come oh, on. man, I found a bad cartoon somebody made on YouTube, man, oh, yeah. about the last days. It's bad, man. Wow. Uh, it's showing uh, missiles coming. Uh, uh, behold the, uh, behold the day, uh, the day, behold the day shall burn. Oh, uh, like uh, Malachi or something shall burn like that? Something like that, similar to that. It's similar to that. What's going on? Check it out. I can't I'm gonna put it in. I can't put it in. Um, it's bad too. It's bad. It's just a little cartoon. Man. The girl was like, it started out with a little, little cute little booty, like a white girl with a booty and everything at the beach. At the beach laying out. You know how these girls laying out, showing everything. Looking good. And um, she remember she was at the beach and uh, then it switched to the submarine under the water. She shot a missile out and went back to her and it showed showing her and it's showing out in the ocean you see the missile coming up out and then you see down the distance more missiles coming out from other submarines but she got up she didn't think nothing of it but she was like got on the phone got on her truck and left That's she was going seeing around and then it uh, was showing other missiles out of space coming from wherever else and it was showing the u.s is going out somewhere else's and you know it's, it's bad man it's bad man it's bad and then they show them hidden Tan shit up. Yeah, it's bad. This little cartoon is like about 25 minutes away. It's bad, man. Um, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. That's the men of the Lord right now. We're out on the streets. Everybody all over, all over the United States. Yeah, everybody got a problem with you. They call the cops on all of us. All of us. They won't get rid of us. They don't like us being out here. <laughs> they can't stand the side of us, man. It's talking about you and you and the university. Yeah, fuck this. This university ain't good for us. Hey, you know what I mean? This university, this ain't, it's not here to teach anybody. You see how stupid these college students are? Man, these college students couldn't pass a basic history quiz, bro. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? They don't know basic history. Hey, man, they don't even know the three branches of government. They go to college. Mm. Actually, this bitch I work with, she studies American history and she does know that. Oh, that's, well, just one out of that's like we have one out of a million. Yeah, it's it is. Shit. Literally, it's one out of a million. She's probably the only one at this university that does know. We talked to a billion college students out here. We they, like they don't know. They didn't know who America Vespucci was. And I mean, they don't know basic shit, man. Oh, uh, what you use more than that stuff? Yeah. That upon you may come. Oh, uh, even even that scholar that was out here, he didn't know as much oh, the, as us. So-called scholar. The scholar. So scholar. Oh. I mean, he said like he knew he knew a little bit, but he was nowhere near our level, man. Uh, you know what I mean? I thought he was stuck and stupid person. He didn't know basic shit. I'm asking him about basic shit dealing with the Greeks and the Romans. He didn't know it. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, you got more than that? Yeah. That upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth. From the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Zacharias, whom he slew between the temple and the altar. Damn. Yeah, they didn't want to, they want to get your ass on a sneak attack. That's Israel that want to kill you. Our own people want to kill us. That's the main people that come against us out here is Israel. Especially the Israelite woman. The Israelite woman loved to come up here talking shit. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Oh, oh man, he's like, oh, come on here. Talk here. she can get, get away with it, man. So we're teaching the Bible. Okay. I'm a Christian. That's oh, oh, for real? Christian. You know what Christian means? Uh, follower of Christ. Well, yeah. What does Christ mean? You know what Christ means? Uh, the Son of God. He is the Son of God. It means the anointed one. Christ. It means it, it means it, it's uh, Christ is the Greek word for Messiah. Messiah means to anoint, the anoint the anointed one. So. The, 
like like well, actually a lot of us we don't even use that word price. Oh yeah. You know, cause this uh this uh where's that uh he'd rather have us eat pork than to speak Greek. Yeah, because <laughs> you know G yeah, Jesus Christ is not the Lord's real name actually. That's Greek. Yeah, but we are Christians though. Because you know Israelites are Christians. You know who the Israelites are? Yeah. I'm gonna show you something. What's your nationality? Uh, so we can get an idea of who you may have, who you come from, who your, who your, who your, your yes. bloodline comes from. I mean, blood, like my family's concerned. But what's your dad? Your dad. Uh, but what's his nationality? Uh, can't be both of them. Yeah. He's probably Irish. We got a lot of Jays over there. Right, because Germany was actually the You know, we left our seed there. Everybody know the Irish are black. They call, over there in Europe, they call uh, they call the Irish the white niggers. Actually, yeah, call them white niggers. You know that? Well, actually, none of out here is about race. Everything is just, it's a spiritual thing. Yeah, it's all so spiritual. Everything's spiritual. It's not about race, you know? Well, it's not about, put it this way, it's not about appearances. Right. It's not about appearances, okay? We don't judge people according to the flesh. Oh, let me read a scripture for you. This, uh, this is going to tell you who the one they call Jesus comes for. You said you're a Christian, right? Uh, I'm going to read you a very important scripture. This is Matthew 15 to 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's pretty clear. The Lord said he came for the lost sheep of Israel. So do you go to church? Oh, you do? What, what kind of church do you go to? I think a lot of churches. Yeah, they're boring. I can never go to church. It's torture. I like it. Yeah. We expect. I mean, it's, it's a place for women anyway. Yeah, it's all it's only for women. That, that's, that's their target audience is a woman. The, well, the preacher, they want to get all the women in there because it's, it's, the easy, it's easier to get a woman's money than a man's money. The only thing those preachers care about is your money. That's all they care about. Now, in your church, who is there more of, men or women? women. Don't say balance. Don't say it's equal amount. That's, that's impossible. Did he ever tell you that you was an Israelite in your church? He never told you that. Did he tell you you was a Gentile? They don't tell you that because the Lord said he came for the lost sheep of Israel. And that's very important because the kingdom What did you just have? Matthew 15 and 24. Because this is the most important thing because this is the this is our heritage. Okay, Israel is our heritage. In, in the kingdom of heaven, Israel is going to be uh, put in rulership of the whole planet. Okay, I got Matthew's 10. Go ahead. Matthew's 10 and 5. These 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. 